Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to create this overlapping logo design pattern in Adobe Illustrator in the easiest way possible. Let's use the Adobe Illustrator basic tools and see how we can get this pattern. Stay tuned. Alright, let's start by creating a shape. I'm going to create a line and then duplicate it three times by holding down Alt and Shift key. Shift key would keep it in the same alignment, but then again, let's go ahead and distribute these objects evenly. If you want, you can change the color for the stroke or we can do it later as well. I will do it now. Once the stroke is applied, we will go ahead and expand our appearance so it becomes a shape. Go to object and click on expand. Now here's a great trick. You will see the results in the end, but stay with me. Create a rectangle to cover them all and place it behind. Give that a white color. Well, to avoid misplacing these shapes, I'm going to group them all. Next up, open your brush folder and simply drag this pattern on it. From the options, select art brush and keep rest of the options as it is. Let's create a magic now. Oh, before that, I will create a grid. You don't have to, but I like it. We will create a shape on this grid and then apply our pattern to it. Let me simply create a grid and give it a stroke so you can see it. Yeah, like that. Now, grab your pen tool and start drawing with me. Not from there. Start from the middle of the square and move along. That's it. You will soon see the entire shape. Well, we don't need the grid anymore. So go ahead and remove the grid. Let's get rid of it. Open your brush panel and simply click on the pattern we created earlier. Uh, it's looking very edgy. Let's give it some curves. Select your direct selection tool, hold shift key and click the anchor points just like me. Now with the handles, move them inside. That's more like it. Looks pretty neat, right? Looks to me. <laughs> but I want to give it an overlapping effect. Let's see how we can do that. Pick up the scissors tool and click on the path from where you want the portion to see on the front. Don't worry about the little shapes that looks out of order. We will fix them later. Select the split shapes and send them backward. Shortcut I am using our control and open square bracket. Okay, so before completing the logo design, I want the middle length a bit longer. Go to the direct selection tool. Select the bottom anchor points and just hit the keyboard down arrow key a few times. And that's it. Now we will rotate this shape and see what happens. Select the object. Click in the center of the shape to provide the center for rotation of the object. Hold down Alt key and rotate it. Let the opening anchor point on top to meet the second last line of the curve and release. Before you do anything else, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it once more. It looks so clean but those tiny shapes coming out are really messing the design. Let's fix it. Select the entire design, go to objects and expand the appearance. Ungroup it all or else the changes will be applied to everything. Now we don't want that. Select the entire shape once more. Go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. Well, we have to ungroup it once more. I'm going to fast forward it. But now I'm simply selecting and deleting those small shapes that are separated from the main design.
yay, this looks much cleaner. But that Pathfinder split has split the entire design into so many shapes. So here comes the magic wand tool. Select it and select the color. It will select all the shapes that have the same color. Go to Pathfinder once again and unite them. Now that we have our final logo design, we will separate it and delete the remaining scattered shapes. Superb! Let me give a great background color for the contrast and you can see the logo design popping out even more. Hmm, how about a gradient to it? Select the color and place it on gradient bar. Duplicate it and change the second color. I think I like this one. Well, what do you think? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and have created it alongside. If not, go ahead, watch it again and create it. Please subscribe and push the bell icon to receive more logo design video tutorials. Until next time, stay safe.